To learn about the off-grid lifestyle and to be inspired to live your dreams, click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Hit the bell notification. One of the more proud things I, I have done since I started living off-grid is the wood pile. The wood pile here is, I got four cords here. I'm gonna keep try to keep Carolyn out of the screen here, but I got another cord down here. So I got about five cords. Now a cord of wood is four feet by four feet, so four feet high, four feet across, eight feet long. Better known as, I think, 128 square feet. And to calculate that, all you gotta do is four times four times eight. That's how you come up with your square. This last summer, I also had another four cords down here. And I'm very disappointed, but I used all of it in the outdoor heat exchanger. It just used so much firewood over there. And that, that stuff was all dry. And so then when we moved up here, all we had left was this, and we were really dipping into next year's wood. This is next year's wood. It's not dry. I mean, some of it's drier than others. You can see the color variation. You can see this is much darker. That's oak right there. That's walnut. And then we come back into oak. See how white that is? That's freshly cut. This was cut about eight months ago. And so it's getting close to being dry. It's gotta be 20% moisture content in the center. And this back here is all wet, freshly cut. We just cut this maybe a month or two ago. This area that I'm standing in, again, trying to keep Carolyn out of the picture here, is going to have a pole barn over it. We're gonna use cedar trees for the post and we're gonna put a, a, a roof over it. And the roof's only gonna be about eight foot tall. I mean, just over my head, maybe six foot tall. I like it to be just as tall as the wood pile. And you can see that I've tried to get the wood pile about six feet tall. I'm six feet tall and this is what, five foot five. It'll be a downhill slope. We'll try to find some metal roof material for free. Similar to this, this is $12 a sheet and I don't really wanna to have to buy it. And you can find free metal all the time on Facebook Marketplace. Really excited about how much firewood we're getting. Once I get the pole barn, it won't be completely filled with wood. There'll be spaces. So you'll see firewood here, two rows of firewood here, two fire, uh, rows of firewood right in the center, and then another two rows of firewood over on this side. We don't have a lot of firewood here on our property. We got an acre and a half and it's all wooded. And I suspect that if I cut three trees down a year, which would be about a cord, which is what I expect that we'll use as a cord of firewood each year. It can last us, our 60 trees, I think I counted 60 to 100 trees, would last us roughly 30 years. We're hoping that we can find firewood elsewhere. Well, last year, Carolyn kept saying, hey, there's free firewood here. Hey, there's free firewood here. Hey, there's free firewood. Well, I had so much. And I was so busy, we we're trying to build the tiny house and I'm trying to get the property cleaned up and that I just kept ignoring it and kept ignoring it and kept ignoring it. This year, I discovered, hey, people give away free firewood. And you'll see right here, I already showed you, somebody gave this to us. And it was a full truckload, which is about a half a cord roughly. Not really, but almost. I'm going to start really looking out for free firewood. There was a tree down at the city park a few miles down the road and I got all this. This is what all this is, is that tree from the city park. There was a trailer park just down the road that way. And we had, uh, I think two cords of firewood, poplar tree. Now poplar tree is a very light wood. And it, it's, it's still a hardwood, but barely. Really got us through this winter and we didn't have to cut down many trees. Uh, I don't think I used any trees that I cut down here on this property this last year. Now I have this app and it's called Free Stuff. And what it does is it monitors all the selling web pages like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. And anytime it says free, this app sends me a notification saying, hey, you got something here within 100 miles. Now most of it's just junk. I got an old TV, don't know if it works. I've got a refrigerator that's been sitting out here for 20 years, I don't know if it works. And they just want you to come pick up their garbage is what they want you to do. But occasionally you see something that's really good. Just a matter of fact, just a few minutes ago, I got a notification of free bikes. Of course, it's 50 miles away and I don't know if, if I want to travel 50 miles to get free bikes. But my thinking is, is I can take the wheels off the bikes 
and put it on my chicken coop and then my chicken coop can roll around. So you, we're always looking for free stuff. We're gonna look for free metal. Well, th this morning I got a notification saying, hey, I got some firewood. And he sent two pictures in the, in the ad, two pictures. And it was all nicely stacked and looked good and it was easy to carry. And I said, I'll be over, give me your address. Well, it took 41 minutes for him to send me the address. So messing around, waiting for the address, finally got the address. And, and we rushed over and it was 45 miles away. And of course, Carolyn and I are calculating, is it worth to travel 45 miles to get firewood? Yeah, you know, three, three gallons of gas is probably maybe what it cost. Probably not that much. And you figure $3 a gallon, not quite that high. I think it's like 365, but you know, and so, you know, you're $9 into getting firewood. So yeah, I think it's worth it. Considering I can just go down the street just a little ways and get a truckload for 70 bucks. So I get over there and I'm thinking it's one, maybe two truckloads. It's not. And so here's some footage I took over there. I'll try to patch that in and then I'll come back and show you what I got in the truck. Okay, I'm not gonna sure how I'm gonna edit this in. So I'm giving you my warning that the editing might be a little bad here. But this is the location I was telling you about that has a bunch of oak. Now these rounds, I mean, look the size of this round. I'll put my hand here for a little bit of scale. I can't lift it. These things are huge and they're everywhere. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to give away this guy's location. It's bad enough that I risk my location every time I make a video. I don't want to risk somebody else's. So we got all this over here. And I'm going to have to come back and get a splitter. But this isn't the end of it. So we got this rock wall here. And we got these huge rounds here. It's massive. Again, trying to be careful not to give away his location. And so up and down this rock wall. Gonna have to figure out how to get these. I might be able to back the truck up here and roll these in. But they got those. And, and then behind the house, we'll have to walk these up a hill. We got two piles here and this is be the easiest stuff to get I can carry this except it's the furthest away from the truck okay so we ended up loading the truck up full I've gotten a couple pieces out already Carolyn took a piece out here and and we got the truck full I mean these things are huge rounds I mean it's as big as these trees that I want to take down in my own yard here the thing is, is the picture he sent us, it was all the nice neat stack stuff. It's down behind the house. Of course, it would have been a little bit walking up the hill to get it. But this stuff was up in the front yard. This is the stuff that I could carry. There are rounds I showed you that are just so big I can't carry it. This is an influential area, uh, meaning that they have a lot of money in this area and a lot of vacation homes. So they're down for the weekend or for the week, I guess, visiting their vacation home. And what has happened, I'm sure, is they had a tree service come out and cut these trees down, but they didn't want to pay for the removal of the trees. So they're just going to give it away. Well, the, the ones that are just so big that I can't lift, uh, we had to leave behind. And I told him, I, I, I'll come back. Well, I didn't know if that was a true statement, and I didn't want to go back on my word. So I'm trying to figure out, what can I do? Well, the whole ride home, I'm, I'm thinking, man... We got ripped off on this deal and that aggravated me because I'm the kind of guy, it's free. It's like these people complain about my videos. Oh, I don't like your videos, they're terrible videos. Dude, you just watched a free video. What did it, I mean, you know, get over it. Well, so I'm aggravating myself, I feel like a hypocrite. Oh, it's free. Why am I aggravated about this? And I realized what it was, is I was gonna have to go back and split it, which means, you know, now I'm putting a lot of effort in it. And I, th I thought, well, what's the big deal? I'm going to have to split it when I get home. This stuff in the back of the truck, I'm going to have to split. And it hit me. It just hit me. Oh, I'm going to have to split it quickly at his place. Here, I can take a log down, split it, you know, one log a night if I want. But when I go over there, I got to get a truckload to make the trip worth it. I got the manual log splitter or I got the splitting mall. These things are huge. I'm never going to split these. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is right here on camera, I'm going to try to split one. If it splits easy, I'm going to text the guy and say, I'll be back tomorrow to get some more. 
If, if it doesn't split, then I'm gonna let the guy know that I just don't have the capabilities to get the logs into the truck. So here we go, we're gonna give this a try. Fantastic. Six hits, four slices. What did that take, 15, 30 seconds? Didn't take any time at all. So that's oak, it's white oak. So I'll be able to split this real quick in the morning. I'll go back in the morning and split a bunch of it and throw it back in the back of the truck. Uh, this will go great. So I hope I can inspire you to live your dream. Find it first. Thanks for watching.